you. Thank you. All right. You're making me blush this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our Sunday morning service. It's Mother's Day. Yep, and we're going to be celebrating our mothers today. It's going to be a great service. Pastor Anthony, how you been? Oh, you know, it's living the dream. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. And Pastor Anthony, how are you going to be celebrating uh, Mama today? You know, I think I'm going to be cooking up uh, some amazing uh, recipes for my wife. It's going to be awesome. Some amazing recipes. So basically, you have nothing planned. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been another crazy week. There's been some wild things in the headlines. This last week, Washington State released a list of parks that are going to be opening as part of Phase 1. They also released a list of parks that are going to remain closed during Phase 1. On that list was Cape Disappointment. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but we all saw that one coming, right? <laughs> Cape Flattery, another well-known park here in Washington State, responded with, Oh, Cape Disappointment, you're still my favorite park. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, Deception Pass responded with, <laughs> You can trust me, I'm still open for business. <laughs> This last week in Benton County, an assault suspect fleed from the local police and climbed up to the top of a windmill. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? I probably didn't. <laughs> and when the sheriff was asked how he hoped to get the guy down, he responded with, don't worry, he'll come around. <laughs> get it because he's on a windmill he'll come around <laughs> just this last week and this is crazy um, a reporter for Good Morning America did a live broadcast with no pants on did you hear about this Pastor Anthony oh uh, no I guess I would have heard about that yeah I mean come on a live broadcast without pants who would do such a thing I mean it's time to raise the bar don't you agree um, well. Bro! <laughs> Bro, what is that? You quarantine know, or no quarantine? I'm just trying to dance before the Lord, you know, like they <laughs> dance. <laughs> hey, put those, put those things away. <laughs> My goodness, you guys. Well, big changes this year with the World Naked Bike Ride. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? World Naked Bike Ride? No, I don't, I don't think I did. Yeah, big, big changes. In fact, Portland is still encouraging bike riders to ride their bikes naked. But, you know, but apparently they're going, Mom, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? Bike riders riding naked this Sunday, Mother's Day. You should be getting ready for the service, DJ. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my mom is here. <laughs> Stay six feet away. Stay six feet so away. So good. No, I, I still will. <laughs> Yeah, DJ. Well, Mom, this is what we this is what we do. We, each week we talk about different headlines and we make little jokes yeah, about it. Yeah, but it's Sunday. It's time to be getting ready. I mean, it's serious. Like, hello. Yeah, it, it can be, but we're just trying to have we're just trying to have some fun and stuff, you know. DJ, DJ. Mom, they don't call me DJ. <laughs> they, they call me Pastor Darren. I'm sorry, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, DJ. <laughs> 
Hey, you're not allowed to call me DJ. Only my mom can call me that. I watch it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Just telling stories? I is that what's going on here? Like, um, I've got some stories I could tell on you. Ah, uh, mom, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you growing up, like DJ, you growing up, that was amazing. Nobody Raising wants. You. Nobody wants to hear stories. Do you guys want to hear stories? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. You know, Always. he would be filming like he would be like nine years old, ten years old, and filming movies with his friends. And in and out of the windows, upstairs windows in the house, like off the roof, coming in with cameras and teenagers and kids flying through the house, ripping off, ripping the door frames off the house. It's true. It's true. <laughs> but we loved it because he was so creative. I mean, what are you going to do? And then, you know, like the one time when you're filming here at the church, I knew you were filming outside with your friends. And I was coming home, driving down the road here close to the church, and I saw the, the parking lot filled with police cars and sirens and lights going. And, oh, it was very scary for me. And I came up into the parking lot, and I jumped out, and my heart was pounding, and found out that the neighbors saw you filming your film and didn't realize that it was just well we were doing we were on the upper parking lot and we were doing like a, 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 a gun exchange scene <laughs> and we, did, we didn't realize that um, uh, that our neighbors were watching so yeah the SWAT team got called on us and um, and so they were get down on the ground so we got down on the ground and good times <laughs> yeah like you kept us on our toes that's for sure but I'm and even when you're a little guy you know um, you would come into bed with us at night and we said, you know, you, you, sh you shouldn't be doing that and kind of chided you. So a few nights you didn't, and then another night you did. So I said to you, DJ, why did you come into bed during the night? And you said, you thought about it, and then you said, Jesus carried me. <laughs> you probably did. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus used to carry me places. You so know? you kept us on our toes. We never knew quite. I was a supernatural child. You know? There you go. <laughs> I didn't go places. Jesus would just carry me. Well, Mom, thank you so much for uh, for stopping by, and ha happy Mother's Day. Sure love you. And I love you, too. I don't know how social distancing works, you know, on Mother's Day with your own mom. I'll just kind of, you know, <laughs> we, we need we need our mask and everything. But, Mom, sure love you and sure appreciate just your prayer, your support, your wisdom. Love you You're too. such an awesome mom. Love you, too. Thank you. Guys, thank you. my mom, let's just celebrate her this morning. Come on. <laughs> love you, Mom. Remember, it's Pastor Darren, not DJ. <laughs> hey, before we uh, dive into the service, this is going to be such a special service. You know, uh, Rebecca Revisto is going to lead us into our call to prayer today. And uh, Pastor Sandy has uh, got a very special uh, prophetic blessing that she's going to be releasing over all, the, over all the moms. In fact, we're really excited about this. Uh, Pastor Gail is going to be bringing the message today. And so we, we, it's an amazing, an amazing service that we've got planned. But before we even dive into this, we just wanted to actually just address one thing um, real super quick. You know, uh, it's interesting. The book of Genesis, we see that uh, God refers to Eve as the mother of all living things before she ever had biological uh, children. And the reason why we bring this up is that today it's not just about celebrating women who have uh, children, but it's about celebrating the call of God upon women, that there is this call to be mothers. And what that means is that even if you're not able to have your own children, there is still a very precious anointing that we want to celebrate for you. Maybe you're later in years, maybe you're younger in years, but you've not been able to have children. We still want to honor and celebrate you and this incredible identity that you are a mom and that there is this very maternal, this very precious call that God has given to you. And so uh, whether you're a spiritual mom today and you're mentoring people, you might even be watching this and you're actually mentoring nations. We don't want you to feel left out. Today we want to celebrate all the women that are watching this, uh, this broadcast, and we want you to know that you are worthy to be celebrated, that you are very, very distinct. You're very, very different um, from, from the male kind of thing, right, Anthony? That's right. <laughs> I'm still uh, laughing at you uh, in your shorts back there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, we've got an incredible service.